everybody. I'm here today with Mr. Dan Radebaugh, and Miss Pam has let you have her truck to come down here and make this little uh, film for us. So I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come down and do this. It's going to be fun. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate coming. Obviously, the truck is quite notorious. I mean, this truck's well known all over the Midwest. Uh, you're obviously into hauling livestock, and it's a 2016 Peterbilt Pride and Class. Correct. You were telling me the story earlier. You actually didn't special order the truck. Uh, Miss Pam found it uh, she, at a stocking dealer. Kind of tell us how that went down. Well, she's sitting at her desk one day and kind of, hey, come here, look at this picture. And I was busy working and uh -huh. another day went by and she said, get over here and look at this picture. Uh -huh. And she's got friends, you know, that's been in the mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. So she's been awareness, mm -hmm. a person of awareness. Mm -hmm. and I saw it, I thought about it perfect truck the yeah. perfect truck yeah we just gotta go buy it well it's not only a great looking truck it's immediately associated with everybody that sees it uh, due to pam's passion and your guys' uh, good work for the charity of uh, breast cancer awareness now it's got all the right specs i mean being a pride in class what do you got for engine tranny rear ends it's got a pat car motor mm -hmm. uh, 18 speed transmission mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 305 rear ends. Oh, she'll stroll pretty good, I oh, bet. Yeah. yeah, got some highway gear. Yes. Yeah, and then you teamed it up with, uh, I was looking at the data tag on your Wilson livestock trailer. It says 6 of 2020. Does that make it a 2021? Yes, sir. I figured as yes, much. It does. They keep cheating that yeah. further and further. So yeah. we're actually here filming in 2020 with a 2021 trailer. That's awesome. Yeah, we've had it for about three months. She's mm -hmm. hauled mm -hmm. oh, quite a few pit loads of pigs with it. Right. She just happens to be under the weather today and can't be here with us. We sure wish she was, but uh, we're going to give her a phone call here at some point and let her know we appreciate her letting you have her truck for a day. <laughs> uh, she's probably sweating bullets at home, <laughs> knowing you're out cowboying around in this thing. That's right. Pam, what's going on? Not much, Brian. What's going on with you? Well, you know, as fate would have it sometimes, I'm down here on location getting ready to film your truck. And we've had this on the schedule for on the calendar for a couple of weeks and lo and behold something came up and you couldn't make the trip yes sir you're right wish i could have been there to do it oh man us too but we've got dan here and i'm really shocked that you turned him loose with the keys to your old pink 389 today yeah it was a tough choice but i had to do it you never know <laughs> but he better look after it oh i assure you he is he is he's doing a great job and uh, we are a little bummed that you couldn't be here. I mean, everybody out there on the road associates this truck with Miss Pam. So we're going to make the best of it, but I want you to know we're missing you down here. I miss being there. <laughs> hey, tell us real quick, you know, the truck speaks for itself. I mean, it's a great looking Peterbilt. You've got an awesome Wilson trailer behind it. Tell us a little bit about how it came to pass that you put the uh, breast cancer awareness theme uh, on the side of your truck. What led you to do that? Well, 34 years ago, there was a lady that helped get me into livestock hauling. And she's three-time survivor of breast cancer. My best friend's mom, she was three-time breast cancer. She succumbed to the disease and passed away. So it's basically in honor of them, too. And I've had other friends and other people close to me that have had the disease. I basically, every mile I run, I want to bring awareness to breast cancer. I'm in a male-dominated industry. We have women and men out here. I want them to stop and think about it. Guys don't realize that they can also have breast cancer, and they think just because they're men, they can't get it. But if they got a strong history, family history of it, they really need to get checked. So this is my opportunity to bring the awareness to the men who, of course, you know, we're the cowboys out here, and we're rough and tough. Nobody wants to admit that they could get breast cancer. So, yeah, as long as I'm making someone smile and people are seeing that ribbon and they start thinking about breast cancer, I know I've done my job. Oh, you're definitely doing your part. I mean, it is a, a big problem on a national level, and we all are out there doing everything we can in hopes for a cure. So. You keep doing what you do, moving that livestock, uh, running this uh, great looking truck all over the upper Midwest, and we'll see you down the trail at the next truck show, maybe. All right. Okay, bye bye. Bye. A lot of people we come into contact with in our line of work, you know, trucking, truckers, all things trucks, it's generational. It's like their granddad did it, 
their dad did it, and now they're doing it, but you actually were the first one in your family to kind of get into the trucking thing. Tell us when that started, you're gonna give up your age, but tell us how all that came to pass. Well, as a young man, there was an awful lot of livestock raised in our area. Uh huh. A lot of guys had straight trucks, but there was a particular guy that had a, a fleet of trucks. Mm -hmm. And then one of my great friends that I went to school with, his dad worked there. I see. And I got to hang out. Uh -huh. I got to go on a trip now and then. Uh -huh. And then I got into high school, like, this is what I'm going to do. Right, you knew. I knew. Uh -huh. And my mom was a college teacher. Uh -huh. She wasn't very happy. Uh -huh. But uh, <laughs> They never did. are. When you uh, mention the word trucks, but you know, about 15 years later, they usually get over it. Yeah, so there happened to be a particular <laughs> fellow that wanted to sell out, and we mm -hmm. made a deal, and mm -hmm. here we are today. Been going and growing ever since. since 1976. Wow. And uh, all based out of Ohio, you run several states. You was telling me even, at, you know, some cases take you clear out to the West Coast. Right. Oh, yeah. Doing cattle and pigs on occasion. Is mm -hmm. it about 50-50 or more yeah, so? Yeah, about, well, some weeks. It's more than other, than uh -huh. it, but yeah, for the most part. Right, right. You're out in our neck of the woods over there at the Kansas feed yards from time to time. Yep. We hear about you guys rolling around out there. Yeah. So, well, let's walk around the truck. Obviously, you know, the Pride and Class is a highly sought after model uh, that Peterbilt came out with and uh, really look cool with all the custom features that are associated with this model of truck. But we'll just kind of start around the front here and you can kind of tell us different things that you guys have done. Obviously, you did all the cab and sleeper skirts they look really cool air cleaner lights both sides yeah, visor well, and the door chops all matches up real yeah, nice yeah we added that we added the turn signal out here mm -hmm. we put your uh, exhaust system on here it's looking good <laughs> it's sure looking good yeah. i like how you went clear lenses everywhere i yeah. mean the amber lenses are completely gone so many people kind of stop halfway through the project but cab lights signals everything looks good you were telling me about uh the logo that you guys came up with, Miss Pam took your company logo and then put it in the pink ribbon. Exactly. Yep. She's she, got class, folks. She, she surprised me with that. <laughs> She's yep. got an eye for art. That looks really good. Yep. We'll see more of that later, I think. Yeah. Got the boxed in bumper. The only thing we need to come up with, we need to get rid of those amber bulbs in there. Yep. I think we can handle that. Okay. Uh, one thing cool about the Pride and Class was they had the factory louvered grill with the side vents. So that's kind of their distinguishing mark. Yours has the, the polished out front fenders, which is ultra cool. Uh -huh. How many miles you got on it now? It's 300 and some odd miles. The speedometer went bad. We got a new one in there now and it's uh -huh. reading like 77,000. I uh -huh. got to think back when the other one went bad, but I think it's got a total of over 300,000. 300,000. You could have told me 30,000 and I'd have fell for it. She <laughs> takes good care of this thing. Yes, she does. Yep. And it's a full emission truck. I mean, you're 48 state legal, carb yep. compliant, all the good stuff that we need to be these days. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. We'll have to get in the interior there because I know that's one of the highlights of the truck is what uh, what she's been able to do to the interior. And we just redid this ribbon. Mm -hmm. We decided to put Fight Like a Girl on it. Mm -hmm. You're going to admit to Fight Like the Girl? That was your idea. <laughs> oh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, good touch. Uh -huh. Good touch. Claim it. It's yours. Okay. Polished out tanks. Yep. Custom. I like the in the frame deck plate stainless instead of the traditional kind that sets on top. Uh, works real good with the, the light box and the fenders and everything. And someday I'd like to get them hidden, mm -hmm. but right now we don't. Y your air hoses? Like yeah. maybe run them through the back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that would be a, a, a good touch. Put that on your list of things to do someday. <laughs> yeah. We were talking earlier, you know, it's never done. Right. And about the time you get it all done, you'll want to tear it all down and go a whole different direction. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, well done to both of you. Stainless single hump fenders with all the shape mount brackets. Hogue belts, it looks like. Yep. Yep. Whoever put those on knew what they were doing. They look nice and symmetrical on there. So. What's on the back end of the truck? That's a custom rear center panel. It's like extra deep. Yep. Yep. And I just, I, I put new lights on the, on the back side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same way with this, uh, the panel up here in the front. Mm -hmm. So we got as many lights shining forwards as we do backwards. So she, okay. right now she's got the whole. Oh yeah. And they're dual revolution lights. So you can flip a switch so and they it. all go to pink. Yep. 
Yeah, and uh, our angle coming around, we missed the uh, the filler panel underneath the fuel tank and there. On, uh, on the back side, I, yep. I put more lights on oh, it. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. she has the lights up on her, her bumper uh -huh. that shine back this way. So we got uh -huh. the hole underneath glowing. Oh, yeah. And like I said, then we can change them to pink. Mm -hmm. Well done. And this Wilson, I mean, it is loaded out. Got the stainless front, and has it got the stainless rear? Yes, sir. Yeah. They make it. They make a fine trailer, man. That thing is kind of like every cattle hauler's dream. <laughs> well, let's run on around the back of this thing. I th I tell you what I want to do. I think there's a mystique with most people that haven't been around cattle and big trailers. Uh, what goes on in there? What's all the trap doors and gates and escape hatches? We may get up in there later and have you show me around. Okay. Give me a walking tour. All right. We can do that. I've got a cattle trailer or two, but mine are like. 1990s vintage. They're not uh, all the latest and greatest, and they have came a long way. These Wilsons got an absolutely phenomenal interior. We have a we have a switch in here that can raise that back axle up when we're not you loaded. Lift it up, yeah, right yeah. on. You equipped her out with toolboxes, extra lights down the full length. Yep. I forget. I I used to know exactly how many extra lights we have, but right you're now, past all that. <laughs> ah. I got 114. Yeah. <laughs> and the back of the trailer, man, it is like, my favorite angle of this trailer is looking at it from the back. Uh -huh. uh, that is cool the way you guys did the art. And I mean, that's time consuming. On that hingeable folding door, that's uh, a it's, lot it's of hours a, right there. It's a very workable door. Yep, yep. Luckily, she hasn't scraped it up anywhere. <laughs> and She's... I see Pam's got a hold of the mud flaps with her paint pen. Yep. Yep. You were telling me the stripe around the top header, you just did that recently. Yep. Yeah, that's a and nice I touch. Just, I just brought it around to the back. Uh-huh. I'm not sure exactly what else I want to do here yet, but where well, it's a work in progress. She is a working trailer too. Yep. Yeah. Disc brakes, huh? Yep. Wow. I yeah. guess I should know that, but uh, you know, I, it, commonplace now is disc brakes on the new trucks, but I never even thought about a trailer being equipped with them. Yeah, I started getting them uh, oh, maybe three years ago. Yeah? Wow. I need to read more magazines. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a Wilson and... So it's a 53 foot, 53 spread foot. axle, yep. 102. Just a double deck. I mean, you do haul some pigs, but you don't haul only pigs. Right. So you just got the double deck. Yep. You got your uh, winter side kit at home? Yep. Yeah, it just slides in here and goes yeah. in behind everything. Yeah. So it's easy to remove. And Is all yours numbered? Like on mine, I had to make it, so I have every piece numbered around the trailer. Oh, oh yeah, So yeah. I can get it all in the right, exactly. uh, right spot. It's kind of a pain. Like when you finally get it put in, you don't ever want to take it out. Because <laughs> it took you all Saturday afternoon to put it in. Yep. I was looking at your porch light earlier. We didn't really hit on that, but... Uh, when you did that stripe down the side, you brought it down around the porch light. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's like I said, it's just something more that I'm trying to do to it to make yep. it look good for, for Pam. Oh, that's it. That's it. Well, let's jump up in the inside and you can show me around in there. I know that's where Pam spent a lot of her focus. <laughs> well, when I think of Pam's truck, believe it or not, the first thing I think about is all the great work she did on this interior. I mean, it really catches your attention. Dan, why don't you point out some of the awesome stuff that she's incorporated on the inside? Well, we had this, we took the door apart and had this pink made and put around here, and then mm -hmm. we had this pink panel. Mm -hmm. and this is embroidered. Yep. Nice. Yep. And then we we had this made up here in the top, uh -huh. and it's got lights around it at nighttime lights up. So you can't see it here in the daylight, but at night it's got a pink glow around the whole outer perimeter. Yes. You were showing it to me earlier. I mean, yeah. I bet that looks awesome. Yes. Yes, it looks good. And she's added all the deals around the gauges. And... Got to have all the gauge bezels, switch trims, uh, everything you can get for the dash. That's a trucker must. And tell yeah. me about, she had the steering wheel uh, with the, the pink ribbon on it. That's cool. Yeah, she found this somewhere. Uh -huh. And... Uh -huh incorporated it with this and it was meant to be meant to be yep <laughs> we had to have that all the chrome steering column cover i know the floor we're going to get some pictures of here before we're done is phenomenal as well as the upholstery on the seats you said the seats was actually the like the latest touch yes. you had done to the interior they're relatively new yep we had them ready to go for the for the show in Louisville this right, year and right. they didn't get a go. Well, you can show them at Louisville 2021. <laughs> okay. That's what we're hoping for. All right. <laughs> Just tell her, keep them clean. 
<laughs> Keep them looking. I mean, this new. is this is her little touch here to put oh, this yeah. pink yeah. ground of Peterbilt on yeah. the petals, and she's got uh, cancer ribbons on the the part knobs. Uh, yeah, and she's got yep. it up here on a shifter, and oh yeah, this is her personal deal here on a shifter, which looks good. Right, brought a little western flair inside. Yes, I like that. Yes, yeah. Well, it really works well. You know, there's a lot of nice stuff in here, and it's not overdone. You know, it's not it's not too much of a good thing. So, hats off to her for uh, her design and eye for style. Well, once again, kudos to Miss Pam for her great job designing this truck. I mean, literally theming it somewhat for cancer awareness and spreading the word about you know the disease and the search for a cure. It's wonderful that she does that. It's awesome that she's a working driver hauling cattle and livestock wherever you and her decide that they need to be hauled. So I look forward to seeing you and her coming through Joplin soon. So if you're in the neighborhood, you better hit me up. Oh, we will. Okay. We will. We'll see you down there. Thank you. Thanks, uh -huh. Dan. Thank you.